Rejection, level two, yeah. Mugtail. Yeah, level two. Rejection of short-term relationships. Mm -hmm. The member won't participate in hookups or any short or any form of short-term or sexual relationship. I don't take that off the screen, please. Let me just say this. Mm. If you're a man mm. and you do not partake in any short-term or sexual relationship with any woman, I don't know what you are. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Does the M that, that means any. I just want to know, does the, any. does the M in MGTOW stand for monk? No. <laughs> it stands for men, bro. Not monk. No, men. Because this sounds like some monk shit, yeah? Mm. And the fact that I was talking about the levels thing, this is what I mean about the, the modern day men complaining about modern day women. But the way it's referred to in levels is also like some kind of man child shit where they're talking about levels in a computer game. When you get level two when and level three. Like for me. Now, bearing in mind, like, this is from vice.com. This may not necessarily be their code of ethics. Be right? their code of ethics. But from what I'm hearing from these men, but maybe Vice is doing a is a, is doing a write up job on them. Yeah, yeah, because it could be that, and they 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 could be. They're trying to portray them in a certain way. Portray them in a certain mm, way. Mm, right? mm, but mm, what mm. I have watched of the Manosphere and MGTOW, yeah, mm. it is very bash women into the ground because of what the women that certain men are picking and how they're dealing with those men. Yeah, the, the women that these men are picking, they're not getting a fair shake, right? I will agree with the manosphere on that. Right. I know I've got a lot of male cousins that haven't been given a fair shake by women, mm. etc. cetera, da, 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 mm. yeah? But this is, again, I go back to this clan thing, mm -hmm. yeah? Bro, at one point in time, you got to look at your, like the man them around you, like your guys around you and go, bro, why do we why are we all in the same position? But we speak, we talk, we reason. Like hasn't there been nothing that we've stopped and gone? Let me give you an example. Mm. Why isn't this happening? Like, I know it happens to a lot of other people. I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen to white males or it doesn't happen to Chinese males or any other group of males, but I'm saying in the black community specifically, where it's quite rampant, yeah. Mm. Why haven't the men, like, we've all got these um, MGTOW pages and Manosphere pages. Why haven't the men, the, the men just turned around and gone, right, these are the code of ethics, that's that. But that's what we do as clan, though, bro. Yeah, I know do you we, get what I'm do that's what we do as clan. These are, the, these are the code of ethics. Like, now we don't need to beat down on women anymore. We, we just set the rules we and just say, set the rules. if you're down for it, you're down cool. for it. But if the same, you ain't, you ain't. But the same thing applies for the men, right? You see, if, if, if the rules are you don't go out with no woman, it's got three and four kids mm -hmm. for different men, mm -hmm. right? And then she's not even saying that the kids need to respect you as a father when you take them on. She's saying, well, that's their daddies. You don't need to get called dad, but I need you to look after them because they're still going to be living in this house, right? There's, it, that man doesn't have a code. You, you see one thing that um, I look at Europeans are doing very well, yeah? Everything's in a dictionary. Everything's in a black laws code. Everything's in a book. Mm. The rules are all there. Mm. Yeah, you can break them if you want, mm. but there's going to be penalties. Right, right. But with our community as black people, or so-called community and subculture, like it's, it's 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 like the reason why we're losing is because we ain't got no code. There's no code of ethics, bro. Mm. Like we're all freestyling as men, and then we're all getting together and going. Ah, did they rate your freestyle? Not really. Did they rate your freestyle? Not really. We're not rapping. For, like, if we was more, like, um, an analogy, yeah? If we was more all like the Wu-Tang mm. in their prime, mm -hmm. everyone would fear that, as everyone did back in the rap game back then. Mm. Everyone feared Wu-Tang. Like, there's just too many of them. Too many of them are good rappers. Mm. And they're all in the Wu-Tang, mm. right? So that's the same thing for us. It's like, as men, find a code of ethics, Say that's what I'm moving with. So when you meet a woman, you can just turn around. She ain't going to be hearing that MGTA shit when you go up to her and you go, I'm MGTA. She's going to be hearing clan codes. She's going to be hearing clan codes, right? Sure. And then when she can go online, check your clan codes and go, oh, actually, it's quite beneficial for women. Or, nah, I don't want it. 
it's cool. Now I don't have to yeah. go on dates. I yeah. don't need, need to get into pregnant. Yeah, we yeah, don't need yeah, to go up yeah. the aisle. Like we've we've just cut out so much mess, bro. Mm. And we've we've stopped children from being born into a messy situation. Straight, one hundred percent, one hundred percent.